everybody can hear me. We back up in this thing. No lag. Everything is good. I already knew why it was lagging. I had my settings messed up. I already knew why I was laughing, lagging. But we back, man. We back in business. Yo, FA, what up, baby? Man, we back in business, man. Yes, sir. We back in business. All right, you guys, uh, we back, man. Um, so, yeah, so if any guys want to um, call in, man, the link is in the description, man. You know, look in the description. Do I need to let my body recover at all from doing push-ups every day? You recover in your sleep, G. You know what I'm saying? That's how you, uh, that's how you uh, recover, dog. You know, but... Uh, I'm going to let everybody get up in here, man. And um, I just wanted to change up the, the, the layout for you guys. You know, I'm working on some new things. Well, you know, step up my professionalism with, um, you know, the live streaming and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Where are you at? Just get to the point. Get your bitch ass off my stream, nigga. Fuck you think you is. Talking shit. Just get to the point. Fuck off my stream. Yeah, not not now. You can't say shit. Fuck nigga. Fuck around with these bait ass niggas trying to tell me what the fuck to do, nigga. I don't have a job. Fuck, I look like nigga. I don't have a fucking job. Can't nobody tell me what to do. So what makes you think you gonna tell me what the fuck to do? Just get to the point. Yeah, just get the fuck off my stream, nigga. Fuck around with that nigga, dog. Shit. Anyways, um, yeah, man, that's what we that's what we gonna do though, fellas. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's what that's what we gonna do today. We're gonna talk about you know X's and stuff because I'm getting a lot of you know questions through my uh, website submitted through my questions. Guys asking me, you know, Steph, what I need to be doing, man. Um, my ex stalking me. She trying to get with me. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna call in. You guys can call in so I can line all you guys up in the in the queue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna leave this up, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna leave this up, y'all. I'm gonna leave this up, G. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to definitely lead, lead this up. Big ups from Australia, man. Salute, baby. Um, appreciate the uh, live, uh the $2 super chat, uh, Burnham. Appreciate that, bro. Real talk. Let's go to live chat. All messages. All right. Um, let's get a couple more people up in here. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, sir. All right. Got God. We got one guy in the queue. Cool. All right, fellas. So I'm going to read, read this question. All right, fellas. I'm going to read this question that I got from um from the, from my website, man. It's a real good question he sent me. Okay. Got two what? Two good ones. Two good ones. All right. So... Um, let's see, let's see. All right, so he says, Hey, Steph, my bro put me onto your channel. My issue is I'm 32 years old, I'm a National Guard member, I'm in good shape. Back in November, I caught my wife for four years cheating with their trainer. When I walked up, he ran for his life. The whole this whole time I've been separated, she's been letting this cat dig out her guts and flaunting the situation in my face. And she says she's a strong, independent woman, but now. Uh, she hasn't stopped following me online. So if I was the bad person, why stay connected? Now, um, <laughs> solo, you, hold on, solo, funny. Uh, you rich, but I gotta support my little bro. I ain't rich, man, not yet, dog. But I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Uh, appreciate two dollars super chat. My homie said um, to another brother from Milwaukee, man. Hey, man, four one four for life, baby. That I'm from Milwaukee, man. So. Back to the situation, though, right, fellas? This is what this is about, right? And what we got to understand is when a woman cheats, sub, like, subconsciously, she's thinking that it could be better on the other side, right? It could The grass could be greener on the other side. That is, that is what she's thinking when she's, when she's trying to, you know, um, 
cheap, right? Her whole her whole mindset is, ooh, it might can be good for me. He might have this. He might do that. And then deep down, it wasn't even all that. It was just a thrill of her wanting to get with him. You know what I'm saying? Her really wanting to sleep with the dude. You know what I'm saying? So when she do what she do, now you fast forward. You're, you're, you're fast forwarding you guys' relationship. Whether it's with your wife or your girl, right? You fast forward you guys' relationship, and now it's like y'all separated, and now she's gonna flaunt. Now, now she's now she gonna try to make you jealous, jealous by letting you know that yeah, he's still digging out my guts. But but she thinks that since she already views you as beta, right, fellas? She she gonna be like, and I know you want this back. I know you want me back, right? I know you're gonna want to get back with me because you like all this booty. You like my finest. But guess who digging me out? My trainer digging me out. So this is what women do to make guys jealous, which is a test. It is a shit test at times, right? It is a shit test at times. But you can't fall for that. You have to stay in frame. You can't fall for that. You can't fall for that. You know what I'm saying? And where you were wrong at was you're trying to run up on a guy like... Ain't you running up on him ain't gonna do you running up on him ain't gonna make her not wanna have whatever they have. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not a car guy, I'm a money guy. I'm not a car guy, I'm a money guy though. I like money. I don't I don't really care for cars, bro. You know what I'm saying? All I do is go to the gym and come home, bro. You know, I, I ain't no car guy. I, I like stacking my bread, bro. That's what I like doing, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, maybe in the future I'll Invest in some cars, you know, to flex a little bit. But now nah, I, I don't care about cars, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, <laughs> I don't care about cars, dog. But, um, um, so yeah, that's what she do. That that's what she do. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's what she, that's what she gonna do. She gonna try to make you jealous with their relationship, right? To reel you back in. But since since your mindset has shifted, right? And since that you're you're improving your overall quality of life, you know what I'm saying? Now she's going to be checking in on you all of the time because women are hypergamous. That's what we got to understand. You know what I'm saying? Women are hypergamous. So that's why they're always going to be checking on your stories. That's why they're always going to be looking at your page, liking your picture. That's why they're always going to be doing that because they're hypergamous. That's what women do. Y'all feel me? That's what women do. So when she checking on you, what she said, and some, what she saying is, "Damn, I messed up. I know I messed up because I had a good man. I know I messed up because I had some good." But she can't say that because you know women have egos too, and women are never hold, held accountable for their actions. You feel what I'm saying? Women are never held accountable for their actions. So you can't really, she's she not really going, you know what, baby, I'm sorry. I messed up and I thought the grass was green on the other side, but you know, she ain't going to say that. So, you know, subcommunicationally, she is going to say that. That's what women do, fellas. Right? And that's why women do get back with their ex because the ex is so baited within his mindset that if she does leave him and the ex catches her cheating, right? The ex catch her doing some BS, right? But the ex is so beta and he's having a scarcity mindset that he know he can't get a woman of her caliber or higher, he gets back with her. You know what I'm saying? He gets back with her. And then this plays a trick in her high, like, dang, he gonna get back with me after I got done sucking this dude off and after I got done fucking dude, he gonna get right back with me? That's what women do. That's the games that they be playing. You know what I'm saying? It, it that, that that's the games they be playing. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I try to tell you guys, like, you can never get into a situation like this. You can never get to situations with women with, with a beta kind of mindset. It has to be on abundance, right? And if a woman blocks you, it's because she is still always thinking about you. You always want the woman to block you because all she's going to do is unblock you to check up on you to see what you're doing. You don't ever want to block her because when you block her, you're showing bitch tendencies. 
You're showing women tendencies. Right? But when she blocks you, that is what she's supposed to do because she's a female. Females do that. They're in their emotions. So they gonna block you. They gonna block you. So, well, guess what? Two weeks later, they gonna unblock you. I need some dick. I want you back. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, they gonna unblock you. That's why women do that. Women are, one thing y'all gotta know about women, fellas, women are never, ever, never, ever gonna tell you straight up what they wanna do. They never, ever gonna tell you that. Not unless, not unless a woman is secretly like just, just, just obsessed with you. And I'm gonna tell y'all this, bro. Every dog gonna have a day. And what does that mean? What I mean is that every guy in this chat, if you just do a little bit of self-improvement, a little bit of working on yourself, a little bit of chasing your purpose, you're going, every guy in this live stream is going to experience a woman being completely obsessed with you. And you're going to know what it feel like. Every guy, every guy's going to have, now I'm not saying every guy's going to have like his handful of chicks to be obsessed with him. You, that takes a, that takes a, 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 a lot of work. That takes a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of, you know, the, the average quality guy, the average guy, is he's going to have his day. Every dog has his day. Every dog going to have his day. If you're playing basketball, you want a basketball team, trust and believe me, bro. You're going to have your day when you score 20 points. If, you, if you're good enough, you're going to have your day when you score 20 points. You play football, you're going to have your day when you get a couple sacks. You're going to have your day when you get a couple touchdowns. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you play baseball, bro, trust me, you're going to have your day when you're playing out that outfield, you're going to catch dude that trying to bat that bat hard as a month. You're going to have your day when you're going to catch like three of them. He out. You're going to have your day when you hit a couple home runs. Right? In high school, man, I, you know, one, one, one sport that I really like, like, that guys don't like, you know what I'm saying? I went to a white high school. So a lot of my white, high, a lot of my white friends, uh, they play hockey. And they used to always invite me to the hockey game. Hockey games was cracking. They was fun. And when they score, and when a person scored in a hockey game, it's like somebody in a basketball game hitting the buzzer beater to go to overtime. You know what I'm saying? And like every dog gonna have his day when he gonna pass you the he gonna pass you the uh, the hockey thing with the puck, and you gonna hit that mud in. Just tip it in, gonna go, ah! gonna go crazy because every dog has his day. Depending on the app, the average work you're gonna do. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all gotta keep that in mind, man. You know y'all 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 gotta y'all gotta keep that in mind, bro. But but um but um you can't go into situations being beta. You can, but it's not gonna turn out right for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna turn out right for you, right? It's just not. It's, it's not going to turn around. So women are always going to be indirect. Not unless she's completely obsessed with you. Then she, boy, you know, I just want to, you know, but some, some women are, are going to be, most women are going to be indirect. Like I told y'all the social media thing, dog. A woman ain't going to slide in your DMs. When I say a woman ain't going to slide in your DMs, I'm talking about the average guy that's watching this stream, the average guy that watched my channel. Not Chad. Not Cloud. We ain't talking about cloud, right? We're not talking about cloud, G. We're talking about the average, the average guy. The average guy is not going to get no chick sliding in his DMs, but the average guy is going to experience a chick liking five of his pictures and then following him. That's a subliminal sign of, I find you attractive, right? That's what the average guy is going to experience. Feel what I'm saying? He's going to experience that. But the average guy's not going to experience, ooh, you fine. Ooh, I, I'll do some things to you. It, it, it's, just, it's just not going to happen. Right? I want to, I want to, I want to keep it a buck with you guys. Now, now, now you know, you're going to have some, some guys who, who uh, look like Cloud or some guys that look like Tyrone. Chicks going to approach them guys. But those guys are anomalies. Those guys are 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 those guys. 
can't take away the rule. The rule is women are indirect. That's the rule. There are exceptions, but the rule will always still apply. And that's just how it is forever. So what are strategies that average guys... So what are strategies that average guys can use, right? What are strategies that average guys to use that they can maximize their game so they can get on cloud level? That's the reason, right? Because, you know, you can have the talent, but if you don't work hard, you can't really increase increase yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't really increase it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'll tell y'all this. The whole looks, money, and status thing, right? It's true, right? Um, When you, just let's just say, you know, um, you, you're on Instagram, you got the blue check by your name. Or let's just say you're on YouTube and you got the check by your name on YouTube. That automatically pre-qualifies you, right, as high status. Automatically, like off rip. Right? Off rip, it qualifies you as high status because you're socially proven by others, whether it's men or women or both. You are an influencer that you inspire others to do whatever it is that you do. So when a woman goes to your Instagram page, right, and she sees, oh, he got a he got a check by his name. Ooh. Right? That's you're socially proven that you're cold without even saying anything. You're socially proven that you're cold without even saying anything. So that's going to make her slide in the DMs even faster, which makes you a more higher level guy. That's why I tell you guys, like your success, we're not talking about Instagram. Your success is equivalent to a woman's beauty in her prime. Right? Your success. Your success doesn't have to be Instagram. But your success, we're talking about real life. Nice house. You got a nice car. You got a nice swagger. You got money in the bed. You got money put up. You can sit on something. You good. Why this? Why is your success greater than her beauty? Because her beauty adds no value. Your success adds hella value because your success can change her life. Your success can make her even colder. What can she do to make you colder? That's why in a man's prime, right? It makes him colder than when a woman is in her prime because when a woman is in her prime, she just beautiful. And don't get me wrong, we like beautiful women. But what can she do for us versus what we can do for them? That's what you gotta understand. What is the return on investment in your beauty versus the return on investment on my success? My success is my, my success is residual. It's coming every month, G. It's coming every month, G. You feel what I'm saying? My homie says, Seth, is, is this something uh, called as a too high value? There's no such thing as too high value. There's no such thing as that. There is no such thing as a too high value, man. Right? And I'm going to explain on that after I read this super chat. My homie off, he said, your ex always checking on you because they all want attention. Sexual, non-sexual. They don't care. Women always talk about their ovaries, yet won't cut them off. With you, that's facts. Afi, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to piggyback on your topic, Afi. To my guy that said what he said, right? There's no such thing as too high value because she has to prove herself and qualify herself. On what she can do for you. So when she says you're too high quality. Or when she says that you're too high value. It just simply means that. You are too much for me. And I cannot qualify for you. Well guess what baby girl. You ain't the one for me G. 
That's what that, that when y'all y'all gotta understand, like if y'all follow me on Twitter, I always do women translations. When women some say something, you gotta you gotta translate it. You gotta translate it to what they really trying to say. Oh, uh, you too, you 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 too high value. Basically, what she's saying is, um, you intimidate me and I can't meet your standards. That's what she's basically saying. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this about women and this attention stuff, right? I know a chick, my home girl, man, you know, she, she, she cool, bro. You know, I um, met her at the gym. I know, I know her, um, I know her boyfriend, right? So we all cool. We do Herbalife. And... You know, her boyfriend would tell me, man, bro, why is she always telling me about the creeps in her DMs? <laughs> right? He was like, man, why is she always telling me about the creeps in her DMs? You know what I'm saying? And I said, and then he said, why is she always telling me about why she won't just block them? <laughs> I laughed because I was like, dog, she need that attention, bro. She need to feel like she's somebody. She, she need to feel like she's somebody. She need to feel like that, 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 that orbiter, the hoverers that's hovering over her. She gets her attention and self-esteem boost from them guys. That's why. That's, she won't block him because he is her source of energy. Screen, appreciate the five-dollar super chat. Proud of you, little bro. Appreciate that, Afi. Real talk, dog. Right? She's using that as a self-esteem boost. Now, a chick open up her phone and she getting all these lies and she see a simp on her stuff. She's like, ooh, he think I'm fine, but I don't think he fine. I don't think he fine. Because women need that attention. That's one thing women can't live without, fellas. Women can't live without, live without attention. Women cannot live without attention, fellas. That's one thing we got to understand. Right? That's one thing we got to understand about women. They can't live without attention. And guess what? That's okay. We're not going to complain about female nature over here. We're not going to overcomplicate female nature over here. What we do is we dissect it, we analyze it, and we adapt. Just like we're in this quarantine. A lot of guys is, you know what I'm saying, talking about, hey man, uh, what workouts I'm supposed to be doing? Panicking. See, we not finna be panicking, G. All we finna do is adapt to what's going on. We finna adapt to what's going on. Let's, let, let's hit that body weight. Let's hit that body weight, G. You ain't got no treadmill? Let's, let's do 10 sets as 10 sprints. You ain't got to go to the field. Go outside right in your, 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 uh, your uh, walk, your walkway, garage, parking way. Do 10 sprints for 10 seconds as hard as you can. Rest two minutes. Walk back. Guarantee you be sore the next day. That's good cardiovascular. Buy a jump rope. Jump rope outside. Good cardiovascular. It's cold. Double up. Double up on your gear. Two hats, two, two gloves, double up on your gear. Because we don't, we, we find solutions to problems. We find solutions to problems. Oh, she ain't no good for me? Oh, I got to let her go, G. We, 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 see, we're we not going we to be complaining about her nature. We, we don't do that over here. We're not going to do that over here. That, that, that's not what Steph is. That's that's not what Steph. That's not what the cold nation is about, G. We we solve problems. Uh, are she doing too much? Oh, I gotta let her go. Are she, she doing this? I'm I'm good. Ain't nobody chipping on you, girl. Because when you start to get mad, now you in your feelings, and then when you in your feelings. Now you finna start overcomplicate easy shit. Shit that be can, that can be solved like this. But you uh, you turn to Bruce Banner and shit. Oh, this bitch ain't no good for me. <laughs> Bye, bitch. 
Oh, she ain't texting me back. Oh, that bitch on ice. See, this is where the anxiety comes in at. You trying to... You trying to push the fucking wall on my nigga? That motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Now your head hurt. Why the fuck your head hurt, G? You can't move the fucking wall. Why your head hurt, folk? You can't move the wall. That's the wall. You can put a hole in that motherfucker. But you can't physically move this shit. So why you trying to complain about it? Now you got anxiety because you're trying to control something you can't control. My nigga, you're not Magneto. You can't control this shit. You focus on the shit that you can control. Because then that's how y'all overcomplicate the female nature. Right? That's how y'all overcomplicate the teachings. When you just analyze it and you, okay, she doing that. Oh, she liking my pictures. Oh, yeah, she want me. But you, Steph, is it beta if she's liking my pictures? Steph, if she keep on looking at me in my beta for approaching her. Now you have, an, you have an anxiety in that in that moment. Because I already know what's going through your head. I'm not in front of you. I'm not there. You see a chick that's attractive. She looking at you. So she so so you you already know a uh, uh, female nature knowledge. She's staring at you. So you know she finds you attractive. But now you're finna overthink shit. Here comes the anxiety. Oh, I approach her. Let me see, let me see. Oh, she looking at me. Let me go see my shot. What's going on? What's your name? She choosing. You know what I'm saying? She, she choosing. She must like the kid. You know what I'm saying? She might, she might like how you look. But if you... Go huddle in the fucking corner to do that dumbass beta shit. Oh, that's true. She's going. Oh, oh, that's true. What the fuck? The fuck is you doing that dumbass shit for? My nigga, this shit is simple. Right? I'm read the super chats, man. Let me read the super chats. Damn, this chat going fast is a motherfucker. Kendrick, man, appreciate the $10 super chat. Um, who else? Uh Alex, appreciate the uh two dollar super chat, baby. I, I see you up in here. Um, uh, where else? Get money, step spitting facts. Appreciate two dollars super chat, bro. Um, Dorian, appreciate the super super chat, bro. Long survivors, time to grind. Don't let the quarantine mess up. Exactly, bro. Like that's what it's about, bro. That's what it's about, man. That's what it's about, bro. On my on my life, that's what it's about, man. My ex blocked me on all social medias. Hey, bro. Hey. It is what it is. Oh, well. Shit. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, bro. Jordan Pro, man. I appreciate the uh, $20 Super Chat, dog. Real talk. I appreciate $20 Super Chat, bro. Real talk, man. Appreciate that. Explain what a simp is. Okay. A simp is a guy. A simp is a guy who puts his values... Puts his morals away and does everything in his power to qualify for her. That's what a simp is. That's what a simp is. You put you do everything in your power to win her over. Too nice. Um, 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 pedestal pedestalization her. You're doing all of that. Just in the hopes of you getting what's between her legs. That's what a simp is. That's what a simp is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the definition of a simp, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and a lot of guys, you know, they, they a lot of guys will 
you know, call you a simp for many reasons, you know what I'm saying? And and I feel like that's my definition of a simp. You know what I'm saying? That's my definition of a simp, man. You know, and 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 most guys, you know, most guys and okay, in the definition, let me just clear this up too. The definition of like blue pill is a guy who isn't aware of the truth. That's the definition of a, the blue pill. And the definition of a red pill is the guy who's aware of truth and aware of reality. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's the definition of a blue pill and red pill. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, Steph, man, what's your thoughts on this corona? Me personally, I say it's propaganda. Um, been watching you for nine months. Keep grinding, G. Yeah, I did like a 30-minute a, a video on... Um, I did like a 30, 40 minute video on um, the coronavirus on my uh, Patreon. And um, in my opinion, I, I believe it's propaganda as well. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm red pill, bro. So anything that has something to do with uh, the elites and, and, you know, and how they control society and things like that. I, I feel like a lot of guys over here are not um, um, ready for those, these kind of conversations. That's why I have them on my Patreon and I'm not going to have this conversation this big conversation here on youtube um but yeah i believe it's propaganda i think they're pushing something i think they're pushing a different narrative you know what i'm saying you know and, and that's what i believe it is um why why do the girls let you dig and never mention they got a boyfriend because because they don't want to feel guilty bro <laughs> that's why they don't want to feel guilty man they don't want to feel guilty, bro. When a woman cheat, man, when a woman cheats, she has to not feel guilty. She has to not be in the wrong of why she's doing what she's doing. And she can't let you know that she has a boyfriend unless you just see it. Unless you just see it. Unless you just see it, you know what I'm saying? If you just see it right then, it's like, oh, you got a boyfriend. But, like, she not going to tell you that she got a boyfriend, bro. Because now she's going to feel, now she really going to feel bad. It's all about how a woman feels in the moment. So, if she don't let you know that she got a boyfriend and then you find out she got a boyfriend after y'all had sex, it's your fault why y'all had sex. It's not her fault. It's your fault. You made her suck your dick. You made her pussy wet. She ain't do it. You made her bounce on your dick. She ain't do it. Because nothing can be wrong in her mind. Nothing can be wrong in a woman's mind. That's why when a, when a man holds, holds a woman accountable, when a man holds a woman accountable, it's hard. A man holding a woman accountable is like a violin holding you full court. That's tough. A, a man, a woman holding a man accountable is like Kawhi Leonard guarding you full court. 94 feet. Locking your shit the fuck up. And you like, damn, dog. Like he, damn, me on my ass. Like shit. That's that's how a woman feel. Like damn, he on my ass. I can't do. I can't deal with this shit. I need somebody that's less linear than me than this. You know what I'm saying? And 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 but it's but it's gonna make her a better woman. Probably not for you, but another nigga because she gonna probably do right by him. See. You could do right by a chick G and pass her to the next dude. She wasn't right for you, so she's going to be right for him because she learned something from you. She learned from you. That's why a man, an alpha, in his job is to guide and teach. Women need guidance. So you'll, you'll stop talking to a chick. You'll stop fucking with a chick. And she will always remember you just simply off the imprint, the emotional imprint that you placed on her life by guiding her through something, by teaching her something. 
Because she can't learn nothing from a nigga who don't hold her accountable. Baby girl, you the one that got yourself pregnant and got with him. You the one that got yourself in trouble and got with him and got him pregnant. So why you blaming it on niggas ain't shit? You might not be in shit. Or you might be the one that made poor decisions. You ain't got to call her out her name and, 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 and do all. No, no, you know what I'm saying, dog? You make bad decisions. You make bad decisions. You right. She won't say you right now, but in the future, she's going to remember you, G. And she's going to do right by the next man she get in her life. That's why I, I hold all women accountable. Dog. You know why you fat? You ain't got to say you don't know. You, you ain't got to say you know why you fat. You can just say, man, you know why where you at in your life. You know what you been eating, girl. That's that bullshit. She going to remember that shit. She's gonna, she's gonna always remember that shit. Y'all gotta understand, G. There is no father in the household when these liberal women grow up. What's the purpose of you being the father? To guide and teach. To guide and teach. So if she's getting no guidance. From a, a, a male masculine figure, she's getting all her guidance from her mama who might be a thought. She don't be the thought. So you as being a man, you gotta always hold women accountable. Always. Can't let up. You got a girl, you gotta hold your girl accountable. You got chicks in your rotation, you gotta hold them hoes accountable. Why are you doing that, girl? You're supposed to be listening to me. Didn't I tell you to listen to me? I'm the one that's going to guide you in the right spot because I know what I'm doing. Why are you listening to all that dumb shit? I told you to listen to me. You right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Right. Let's read these super chats, man. Let's read these super chats. Um... I got a lot of them. Got a lot of them. Uh, Kale, appreciate two dollars super chat, dog. Uh, Starship says us blue collar men are still working here in DC and getting overtime on top of. It. I haven't seen a strong independent women all week. Facts, man. Get that overtime money, man. And facts, bro. You speaking that truth? Uh, uh Bovin, I appreciate the three dollars super chat. Keith, man, Steph, you out here changing lives. Keep dropping them gems for sure, bro. I appreciate that. Um, Scream said, what do you feel is a problem that you would experience in a long-term relationship but not a deal breaker? Um, her having male friends. Um, but not a deal breaker. Um, her pussy not getting wet. That's, that, that, that's a problem. You can't fuck dry pussy in a long-term relationship. You just can't. Uh, her getting out of shape. You, you, that's something you can't deal with. Not in a long term relationship. Them two, them two things right there. I can only think on the top of my head, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's not deal breakers. I think problems are deal breakers. Problems lead to deal breakers. You know what I'm saying? Problems lead to deal breakers. G, you feel me? Um, who else sent me a super chat, man? My guy Icy Cole said, what is your advice to people like me who are struggling finding their purpose? I'm striving for financial freedom and I'm willing to go on in. First of all, you got to find something that's your passion, dog. Like when I say purpose, bro, it, it, pur uh, your purpose is not like your job. Your purpose is not like your nine to five. Your purpose is like your passion. Unless your purpose in the, in the field that you're in in your job is your passion. You feel what I'm saying? Like you, you have like your purpose is not the nine to five that you clock in every day. That's your hustle. You gotta find something that you're passionate about, and then you have to monetize that shit. That's what your purpose should be. 
Feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. Um, see, somebody else has some great super chats, man. Um, let's see. Steph, I can't thank you enough for putting me on game at 22. Currently transitioned from beta to alpha, and I know it takes a while, but I appreciate you and what you do for young men here. Christian, I appreciate that, man. Real talk. Appreciate that. Real talk. Real talk. Putting this on game. $2 Super Chat. Is there such thing as a good girl? No. There's no such thing as a good girl, but there's a such thing as a girl good for you. There's a such thing as a girl that's like um for you. You know what I'm saying? There's a such thing as a girl that's good for you. You know what I'm saying? But there's no such thing as just like a girl being a good girl. No, women are women, bro. And that's how you view them as, just women. Um, Dorian said, dominating women physically, mentally, experiencing and sexually, you'll imprint her life. Facts. You will imprint her for life if you do that. That's facts. All right, man. Let's, let's see what it do. Um... Somebody else sent something, man. We got two more Super Chats to read. My homie Dorian said something. Where you at? Rolling Stone said, keep the uh, school doors open, Steph, for show, man. Appreciate that, homie. Um, Brandon said, this week I realized just how important purpose is. A woman can never bring you fulfillment. Never. She can never bring you fulfillment. Somebody says, um... Why does this guy talk so ghetto? Real men speak proper English, not Ebonics. Imagine talking like this guy in the corporate world. <laughs> uh, you know what, man? He write about imagine talking like this guy in the corporate world. He write about that. He write about that because... What's up, man? How's everything going, bro? Yeah, today what we have on schedule is um, we have to go rack up, pull the racks, and we have to pull the containers inside the trailers. I have about 50 to do today. Um, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's about it. Well, sir, I'm going to do 12 hours today. Yeah, 12 hours. I'm going to do 12 hours today, and then tomorrow I'll do 14. Steel boots is in check, sir. Got you. So I'll do so 60 hours this week, and then 40 hours this week, next week. Oh, the week after that? All right, got you. Hey, man, welcome to Walmart, man. What do you What do you need? Xbox One will be in the electronic department. All the way to the back. You have a good one, sir. My nigga, I worked in corporate. Fuck is you talking about, bro? I worked in corporate, dog. But I'm from the streets. I didn't come. I wasn't raised. From mommy and daddy, bro. I was back and forth. My mom and I was with my pops and I was with my mom and then my pops went away. So, then, like, I went to an all-white high school. So, I know how to code switch, my nigga. But now, I'm self-employed. So I can talk however the fuck I want to talk, bruh. I can talk however the fuck I want to talk. That's not cool. I can talk however the fuck I want to talk without anybody telling me you fired. Now you tell me if that's beta. It can't be. When I was working corporate, bro, I talked corporate. When I was working for McLean, driving the forklift, I was talking corporate. And then 
outside of corporate, I'm talking how I'm talking right now, where I was born and raised. All my niggas know that's from that environment. This is how we talk. When you're in the corporate world, for all men that's listening, we all know that we got to switch up our language, especially if you're black. You got to switch it up. You got you to not switch it up. If you, man, what's up, my nigga? You can't do that in the corporate world. They're going to look at your ass a fucking fool. Especially if you black. They're going to really look at your ass like this nigga. We ain't finna hire this nigga. Get this, get this nigga off the fucking position. But if you, hey, man, how's it going? Yeah, I'm ready to work. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely reliable. Definitely reliable. Y'all can come up tomorrow at 8 o'clock, man. All right, man. Sounds good, man. Appreciate the position. All right, you take it easy. Now I got to switch that shit up, dog. We got to cold switch that shit, bro. I got white homies right now that I can talk to that they know me from both sides, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to switch that shit up. So, like, I talk like this, dog, because I can talk like this, bro. That's why I talk like this, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gotta put on no front because I'm stiff as cold. That's the answer to your question, dog. Let's read these super chats now. So let's read these super chats now, man. 414, baby. Yeah, 414, baby, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Steph, been following for a while. Appreciate all the game being putting up. This topic hits home because I have my ex stay following me on social media and constantly checking up on me. Stay, stay wildin'. It's wildin', for sure. She always, she always gonna be checking on you. Appreciate the follow super chat, uh, bro. Um, my homie Connor said, take my 20. You deserve more than what it is for you got now. Tushy motherfucking bust. I appreciate that, G. Real talk. My homie Brandon said, um, oh, you already read that. I already read that. But, um, yeah, man, like y'all not a cold switch, man. You got not a cold switch, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you 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 got not a cold switch, bro. That's what you gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what you gotta do. You gotta not, especially if you're in the corporate world, you have to cold switch. It's very necessary. You gotta know how to do that shit. You know, it's just like it's just like a white dude that it is homies with black guys, right? Bro, he ain't finna be talking how he talking around his family. He finna be talking like us. Now, he probably might not say the N-word, but he gonna have a little bit of slang to his talk. That's just what it is, bro. Because <laughs> cause he cool with black dudes. And you know how black dudes talk that's from that environment. And he cool with his people. So he gonna know how to switch it up. It ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That's facts, man. And I got white homies that do that. They're my homies. Those are my homies. I fuck with them. You know, they're my they're my homies, man. I fuck with them, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be you you got you gotta have both. You gotta have both. That's why I tell you guys, you can't be an introvert 24-7. You got not to conversate with people. Got not to conversate with people. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, let's let's open these uh let's open these uh these car lines, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, let's see who all they got these car lines up. Hey man, y'all can uh go in the calls, man. Y'all can uh call in, man. The uh phone, the phone number is in the description. Phone number is in the description.
How many people got up in here? 12, 1200? It's a good amount of people. Steph, you're only 5'3", maybe 5'4", in a good day. Now I'm 5'6", bro. Steph, what are your thoughts on interracial relationships? I'm a black dude who likes mainly black and Hispanic women. Um, interracial relationships is cool. Um, you know, inter interracial relationships is cool. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't knock people that do that. My preference is black women. I love black women. You know what I'm saying? That's just one of my preferences first and foremost. But I believe all women are beautiful if, if they fit my type. You know, I like them slim thick. You know, I hate chicks that, um, you know, wear makeup and stuff like that and weave. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, uh, Wesley, uh, Bowski, man, appreciate the $50 super chat, two knowledge to knowledge and stay woke. Appreciate that, bro. Real talk. But, um, what I noticed, and I talked about this in my last live stream, what I noticed about, you know, different races and women, um, white women are tend to gravitate you more, gravitate towards you more when you're, um, in a better um, financially situation, uh, they would they would want to like get with you, right? But if you're like a, a Tyrone and you're you, you sexy to them, they will still like want you to dig them out. But they won't they won't get with you. They they won't they won't like get in a relationship with you. you now you know what I'm saying. But a, a black chick, you know, she will get with you if you if you broke. You know what I'm saying. You ain't got no money. She'll get with you. But the thing is, like how um how um like some black women, you know, look at us black guys, they they look at us and think we, we don't have money. So like black chicks expect us to have the best shit, the best cars, the best clothes, the best shoes. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Uh other races of women just want us to have our shit together. You know what I'm saying? But deep down, all races of women, sub subconsciously within their hypergamous imperative, they they, they they all are attracted to men uh, with their shit together. You know, they all attracted to that. But, you know, they all attracted to that, bro. But you can either be a fetish or you can be the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, fetish is just something that they cover up. They try to hide that shit. But real deals, like, they can't help it. You know, it's it's out in the open. Like, they can't help that shit. And, 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 and that's just... Um, and that's just what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I experienced. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. So yeah, that that that's my that's my beliefs on that on that whole that whole topic and that whole situation. Right. So. Yeah, man. Steph, what you think about the deal that light skinned curly guys always win? Man, they got they got nice eyes, nice, you know, and women want to, you know, make babies with them, man, you know. That's 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 probably one of the reasons, you know. They don't always win, but you know. You know, that's just that's just how they how they like those kind of guys, bro. You know. But all women fellas are attracted to a man of power, a man with like resources. Like all women are attracted to that. All women are attracted to that, bro. Like, all women like that shit. But different races of women have different, um, different races of women have different perspectives on, on certain men, if that makes sense. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, most, like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put this truth out here. Like, a lot of guys, like, when, when a lot of guys look at, you know, guys like Cloud and Chad, they see those guys as powerful guys, whether it's uh, financially and resourceful wise, whether it's guys like Tyrone, um, they don't look at guys like Tyrone power and resource wise. You look at guys like Tyrone, it's just a fetish. Like, oh, he has BBC and that's it. Like BBC is just not enough. You know what I'm saying? That's just it. That's that's how they see most black guys. And it's surprised when they see black guys who do have their shit together. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all, dog. When I fly first class, bro, they look at me. They look at me like I'm an alien. G. Real talk. Um, educated black men deal with stereotypes from black and non-black women, unfortunately. Of course. Yeah, man. Of course, bro. Like, uh, they do. You know, you're right about that, bro. You're right about that, man. You're definitely 100 percent correct about that. <clears throat> um, yeah, you definitely right about that, bro. 
Definitely right about that. Um, let's uh, see what we got in the call queues. All right. Uh, on somebody donated fifty dollars. Becoming financially independent was the best decision I ever made. Women will come regardless. I'm gonna tell y'all this, dog. You you get your shit together at an early age, man. Appreciate that fifty super fifty dollars super chat, bro. Man, you get you you get you get your shit together at an early age, dog. Man, these bitches can't do shit for you, bro. I'm telling you, dog. Like y'all y'all like y'all think that I say that shit because it's just it sounds it's the cliche saying like dog. It's true. When you get your shit together and you apply this shit, you can have your fair share of women for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, bro. For the rest of your fucking life. For the rest of your life, dog. You know what I'm saying? For real. For real, for real, bro. That's that's some real that's some real shit. Some real shit. Alright, man. Let's see who this is. What's up, bro? 339, what up, dog? Hello? What's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. What's good, G? What's good, G? Hey, yo, I'm going to tell all, everyone in here, man. Yo, kill that motherfucking beta, man. Kill that motherfucking beta male scent mangina in you, bro. Real fucking talk. Definitely. 2020, man. Let's, let's, let's get up here, man. We got to get on a purpose on that grind, man. Stephen on here. Just, you know, wasting his breath. He's doing this shit for a purpose for us, man. So we can, know, so we can um, you know, build up, man. Definitely. We got to get together. Definitely. And uh, I want to say one more thing, man. Like a broken Xbox. It's Xbox, not box. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> like a broken Xbox. All right, dog. Oh, man. Hey, funny, man. You got to say like a broken neck box. You, 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 it's, it's a box, not a box. You know, the box is still in place, but when it's a like, box, that motherfucker broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. All right. What's good, 214? 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 Oh, this nigga. I don't know what you doing, bro. You waited too long, my nigga. Two five four. I know that area code. What it do? Hello. What's up? Oh shit, my shit tweaking. Oh, what's up, Steph? What's going on, man? What's good with it? No, I had a question, bro. Well, I had like, you no, know, I just had one question. It was like a herbal type of question, really. Um, like, do you think that like combining no fat and like taking maca pills, you think that will like sort of like um, increase your size? It can, cause when every time you every time you touch yourself, uh, you lose thickness down there. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it can. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all. I, that's all I really had, bro. Appreciate all right. you, fam. All right, bro. Peace. Hey, cut. Yeah. You too. Nine two nine. What did it do? Nine two nine, what it do? You go hear me? Mm hmm. Yo, what's good, bro? What's good? Alright, uh, so I just, I want to know, like, because, like, me and this girl, like, we've been talking for, like, I don't know, like, six, seven months. Like, before, like, it's because of her, like, I'm, like, tight blood pill now, all that, right? You're like, what? Okay, but, 
Like I'm like I'm like reptile now, like reptile aware and all that. Okay. Like I'm not like no beta none of that. Yeah, well, you know, red pill and red oh, pill. Well, hold, 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 hold up. Red pill. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Red pill uh, and beta and alpha are not. They're not. They're not like uh together. They're not mutual. No, yeah, I know. Okay, so you can't say I'm kind of red yeah. pill. I'm not beta no more. Like that don't. You know what I'm saying? Like you mean you mean yeah, you're not blue yeah. pill. You're not blue pill no more. Yeah. yeah okay, okay. Okay. Got gotcha. you. All right. So. It's Man, this girl, we both like, we both 16, right? Mm -hmm. And her birthday is in July. So, like, like, I just, I've been waiting for her, whatever, right? Because, like, she's a virgin. So, I'm not trying to, like, you know, I don't want her to think, like, I'm just, like, trying to fuck with her just, like, for sex and shit. But she know that, though. But it's, like, now, uh, I've been telling her, like, oh, like, I want to fuck, like, this and that. When I see you again, we fucking, whatever, right? So... She's like, oh, well, I don't know, because I want to be 17 and this and that. So I just want to know, like, what advice, like, do you have? She don't want to fuck you? Or, like, what do you think? Huh? She don't want to fuck you, bro? Nah, she do. When I be with her in person and shit, she be, like, she be telling me, like, oh, like, I'm, like, mad well right now and this and that. So what you be doing when you see her in person? <laughs> Huh? What you be doing to her when you see her in person? We just like we be like making out and kissing and shit, all that. Like I just I be touching her pussy, whatever. Why you ain't but, uh, like we never fucked? Her. Why you ain't put it in? Why not? What? Why not? Cause she she like whenever we about to right, she be like, no, I want to be seventeen and this and that. I be like, bro, come on. Ah, uh, every time, every time. Yeah. She ain't no version, G. I have her in my house, too. Just same shit. She said, what? Say that one more time. Even when she be in my house, it's like the same shit. You not a seduce women? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I be doing all that. And she still ain't let you hit? She be like, I know how to control myself. She be like, I be having to control myself. Because I want to wait till I'm 17. Oh, well, she can get the fuck out of my house, then. Yeah, bro. I think I be saying it in my head, but then she be leaving after something. Ah, you scared to kick the bitch out, bro. <laughs> nah, because, like, like, we taking each other serious for, like, being in a relationship and shit. But I already told her, like, I already said boundaries and shit, because I don't do relationships. You, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You in a relationship where you still ain't fuck? What? You in a relationship with her and you still ain't fuck? No, no, I'm not. I thought you just said you're in a relationship with her, bro. I'm not in a relationship. Oh, you're not? Okay, no, okay. hell no. Okay. Oh. I know what I'm doing, bro. Oh. Okay, 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 I'm okay. I'm saying, yeah, because she want to be 17 or whatever, but, like, I, I've been talking to her about it. She'd be like, I don't know sometimes, and sometimes she'd be like, oh, man, she want to suck my dick and this and that. Okay, well, come over and suck my dick then. Come over, come on, come, come, tell her, tell her. So tell her, come over and suck my dick. Bro, I be telling her that. Okay, dude, what does she do? When I see her in person, right, she be getting all shy and shit. Shy? What you do is, shy, yeah. all you do is pull your meat out and have her suck it. Facts, facts. Ain't no, bro, that's what you do to chicks, bro. Bro, she wants yeah, to yeah, suck yeah. it. Pull your meat out and have her do it. If she ain't going to do it, tell her to get the fuck out. I know that's a fact. But yeah, I just want to know, like, yeah, I just want to know, like, on why, like, I should tell her, like, what I should do. Cause, like, before I get like in a like in a relationship with her, I want to be able to fuck before, I, like, I get in a relationship. With her. You gotta tell her that. And I'm still fucking other bitches too. It's not that not the problem. Other bitches is not as bad as her, bro. That's all it is, bro. What? Other bitches is not as bad as her, right? Uh, I'm right. Shit, yeah. I, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. That I know, bro. You want her because she bad, right? This is what yeah. you do. I'm a, I'm a pretty boy too. Like I like. Oh, that shit don't mean like, shit, my nigga. Like, that, not, that 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 shit don't mean nothing. That pretty boy shit don't mean nothing, bro. Like 
I'm I'm fit and everything or that like. Yeah, but yeah, that that that, that shit don't mean your mindset is right. You know what I'm saying? Like that that pretty boy, that don't mean shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, if, if your pretty boy, yeah, know, if, if 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 your mind, if your pretty boy needs to match with your mindset, that shit don't mean nothing, G. You feel me? Yeah. The mindset has to be. The mindset has to be. If you're not doing what I want to do, we can just stop this shit. Stop this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another thing, I told her like about the male friends and shit. Like when we've been in a, like in a relationship and all that. Like, bro, oh, bro, I, bro, I don't, bro, 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 bro. You didn't even fuck, and you telling about that, man. You didn't even fuck. It has to, goal number one. I have to fuck. You want my time? You give me guts. Yeah. You saying yeah, but it, it's the truth. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Watch. I'm gonna you should have been my nigga. You should have been did it. <laughs> you want time? You give me guts. No time, no guts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her that. But you have to mean that shit. Can't just you can't just look, bro. You can't just tell a woman something that don't mean. You gotta tell a woman something and show her that shit. You gotta mean that shit. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. In a minute. You know what I'm saying, let me read these super chats, man. Real talk, man. You gotta, you gotta, gotta, you gotta tell her, man. You can't be afraid to tell her, man. Shit. School these cats on female nature during quarantine. Get on the Patreon, fellas, till she motherfucking buck. Won't even say bust no more. We say buck. You know what I'm saying? We 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 skipping. We don't, we don't we don't say the full words. We say buck. Said, keep it up for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure, man. Alright. Uh let's see who we got hella callers up in here. God damn. 31301, man. What's good with it? 301 in the hills of stuff. What's good? What's good, my brother? What's good, baby? Hey, look, look, I'm going to jog your memory. I'm, I'm a long time, uh, I guess, follower, subscriber. I'm going to tell you, I'm, you're going to remember me because I was pro I was probably, but like, last summer, you did a consult with me. And I remember we talked in a situation where I caught my wife slipping, went through her phone. Oh, I remember you super, you super chatting me. Uh, I mean, remember? you sent me that, you sent me that uh, uh, super chat. I remember that. Yeah, what, you, no, no, it was, it was the cash app. Cash app, cash yeah, the cash app. Cash app. Exactly, exactly. See, and it, it's funny. It's funny. It, everything you see, the red pill is some real shit. And and the whole point of me, you know, saying calling is to still big you up, still you put out great content. And it's the truth. It's the truth between some of the other content creators, you know, like Greg Adams, Donovan Sharp. I fuck with him. I all fuck with him. from different age groups. Now, I'm saying I'm in my 40s. I know you 20 something. Yeah. And this stuff applies. It continues on year after year, era after era. Like whatever age group you in, the red pill applies. The red pill applies. If you follow, it's like it's a recipe making the cake. Once look, that console it changed my life. Appreciate it that, bro. My life. I'll say it took me from blue pill to red pill, and I'm still working on the alpha. But the whole point is being aware. And everything they said was going to happen happened. She blamed me. She blamed me for the whole situation. Guess what? 
Cutter divorced her, kept the house, no child support, no alimony. I moved her ass there. You know what I'm saying? Within 90 days, my life was better, higher quality of life, making more money in 90 days after I got rid of her than the whole time I was with her. You see, so it's like, you know, some of these females will block your energy, they block your creativity, they block your, you know what I'm saying, your ability to make money. You won't even know it till you cut them loose. They say that's what the red pill is about. I really believe it's almost like having night vision goggles on and that's, a pitch black that's room. Exact, that is exactly what the mm -hmm. red pill is. That is exactly what that, it you know, is. It's, it's, it's a bunch of men wandering around a minefield in pitch black at night getting blown to bits. And you're the only one with a minesweeper and like this. You walk right through, walk right past that shit. That's what it is. If you master that part, everything else will fall into place. You, bro, you cold with it, dog. Everything else will fall into place. That's a cold everything analogy. Everything else will fall into place. That's a cold analogy. You know, and, and, I, and I say, I, I salute. I salute all you. I mean, it's, it's you. It's see, the, the collective of the Red Pill Brothers putting this content out, if you just sit there and listen, it's all truth. You can't deny any of it. Can't. You can't deny any of it. And if you apply it, you watch your improvements come. Immediately, the money came immediately. That's just what it is. So if you can, you know, as you mature, you get less thirsty, hopefully, because you got some cats, they thirsty to the end. They're going to get married two, three, four times. Mm -hmm. But shit, man, within 48 hours of the divorce, I was up in some new twism. Not giving a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I say, look, you know, this the stuff is real. People think it's entertainment. You see, you know, in the comment section. Yeah, you know, like, like, let, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me say this, bro. You are OG, right? I just made a video about yeah. OGs, right? This is how I got ahead early because OGs were instilling shit in my brain so that I can plot a shit at an early age so I can get ahead of the game. You were OG. See, niggas in the comments, I see niggas in the comment section that be laughing at you and shit, but real niggas know that this is a real nigga on the phone right now spitting games to all the youngins so that your life can improve at an early age. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's why we got OGs here, because OGs experience shit. OGs got the keys, because they went through this shit. So the stupidest shit you can do is go through a mistake when you know it's going to be a mistake instead of learning from people's mistakes. If you learn from people's mistakes, you will get ahead early. Now, I can't go there because I can't go there because he going he gonna to shotgun my shit. My nigga, why would you fucking go there when you just seen the nigga get this shit blowing the fuck off going there? You can't go there. You see the barrel sticking around, around the corner. Even right around the corner. It's right there. I'm going to walk right into it. Bam. Instead of just going, instead of just flanking, going around the back. Because the OG already See, instilled the important. knowledge in you. That's it. That's instead it. of that's laughing it. at the shit, oh, it's funny. It's funny until you get the divorce. It's funny oh, until she break your fucking heart. Until, until you until you get until you get cut and, and raise somebody else's kid like a lot of these motherfuckers are doing. Facts. It gets worse. Facts. It only gets worse. You see? You got this fraternity for all things. These are all these traps. It's only going to get worse because these women getting more desperate. Facts. I got a co-worker, a young, look, young, young cat, Nigerian brother, right? Uh-huh. Red pill is fucked. Don't even know what red pill means by definition. He's got his money together. He spent everything. I ain't never getting married. You know, the, the African culture, they pressure you to marry family. He's like, man, fuck that. I'm preserving my wealth. Mm -hmm. And then he ain't like 28, 29. He told me. A joke, try to put a baby on him. He only hit it twice and he was strapped up both times. <laughs> try to get his ass. This is, this is how desperate this shit is. This is how desperate this shit is out here. It's just going to get worse. Yep. These cats think it's a game. Hey, man, these 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 uh, venomous snakes is waiting. Wait. And all you got to do is slip one time. You you a hostage for at least nine months. And that's even if you got sensitive to get uh, paternity tests on the joint. And God forbid it is yours, now you fucked all the way up. Whew. <laughs> See? Now you fucked all the way up. And you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet until you get caught up. See, I was the luckiest. I was the one that that uh, stepped on that landmine. It was a dud. Smoke came out. Ooh. Kind of like, remember Batman and Joker? He strapped that bomb to the motherfucker mm -hmm. and it was a smoke grenade. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Remember that scene? Yeah, I remember and that shit. Dark night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? And he he had, uh, had that bus pull the pin. He had to put the grenade in the motherfucker's mouth. Mm-hmm. Put the pin tied to a string in the back of the bus. The bus pulled out, pin came out, smoke came out the grenade. He was lucky. He lived to tell the tale. 
That's the whole point for the OG. The ones that survived this shit, that's that one soldier that come back from the battle and get to tell all the other truth, man. It was an ambush down that motherfucker. Everyone did. And that's how bad it is out here. Man, bro. Pfft. Spitting that cold shit. That's how shit. bad it is out here. Spitting that that's cold shit. That's how bad shit. it is. That's not an exaggeration. See, because I come from an era where it was all, it was all blue pill. wasn't no red pill. The only red pill back then was pimps. Yep. That was it. Pimps, that was it. Mm-hmm. Maybe some dope dealers. Maybe, like maybe, maybe some dope dealers. Maybe, maybe, maybe some of them. You know that was it. So that that was it. You know, it was the, the Disneyland fairy tale. Like you said, the Matrix. Go get married. Go get you a, 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 a job. Mm-hmm. Check her background a little bit. Wouldn't know uh, female nature. You know, of being put out there like that. Mm-hmm. Not like that. Not in the mainstream. You had to learn the hard way. What they do? They silence the ones. That fell off. So you too ashamed to talk. Mm-hmm. See, now they can't silence it. And these women, they tell them on themselves. So if you listen to this shit and just be patient, it's like, Definitely. what? No, oh, that's accurate. Then they got the score. It's the final score on the play. But what? And you just watching the whole shit play out, right? You're like, God damn, this is real. And so, again, it's for the it's for the OGs and even for the young cats that dodged that bullet, that got that near miss, to, you know, to, to you know, go tell on the mountain. Cause see these women out here, they they ruining lives, but they fact they ruining legacies. Fuck lives. Legacies, facts. They ruining legacies. They, it could have been your grand, your father, your grandfather put you up. You know what I'm saying? Had you in a certain status. You go there, mess with the wrong one, go to college, get a degree, get married, boom, you back to square one. Worse than your sharecropping great granddaddy. Worse off than him. Mm-hmm. That's what these women is doing. They ain't got no remorse. They'll bury your ass and be on another digging stick the same day of the funeral. Same that. fucking day. Y'all better watch that show called Gone. That, so y'all better, that, y'all so better, it. y'all better watch that movie Gone, girl. Y'all better watch Gone, girl. Man, I appreciate so, the call, bro. Real it, life, man. We, we appreciate, we appreciate it. Now, I'm gonna leave it at this. It's not always what you do. It's what not to do. See, I don't always know what to do, even at 34. But I know what not to do, mm-hmm. and that's what it's all about. So I say we appreciate y'all there, Steph. Keep doing what you're doing. We're gonna keep supporting you. We're gonna keep super chatting you. I'm on the Patreon. We're gonna keep that up. So, uh, hey, man, like I said, you out here saving lives. We appreciate you, man. Man, I appreciate that shit, my nigga. Take it easy, bro. All right. Man, that car was fire. Seconds. I'm going to let this timer run out, man. That car was fire, man. Grown man business, man. What up, baby? I see you. Shout out to Grown Man Business, man. Salute, my brother. Salute to you, man. Congratulations on the new crib, bro, and the new Benz whip. I see you. I see you, dog. Willie said, hey, Steph, just wanted to say what's up. I appreciate all you do for us at 1-9. You're doing my push-ups and resistance bands every day. Been uh, stacking. Black and Macaru, Ashwagandha. Um, thanks to you. Ready to drop it off like MJ Get Right. Let's get it. Shout out to MJ Get Right, man. That's the homie. I fucks with MJ. That's the homie, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is a good-ass live stream, man. That's a... Hey, man. OGs like that, bro. OGs like that, dog. You want people like that in your life. You need people like that in your life. But I'm going to tell you all this, man. Most guys won't understand it and won't get it until they go through it. Most guys don't think, man, I ain't going to get fired from my job until you go through that shit and you ain't got money put up. You go through that shit. <sighs> but I'm telling y'all, dog, dog, the worst feeling in my life, bro, is when I got fired from my job, dog. That was the worst feeling I ever went through. Because not a pressure was on you. That's, dog, that's a fucked up feeling. That's more fucked up than getting your heart broke. Real talk. So a lot of dudes ain't going to, a lot of dudes ain't going to really like understand the shit that we talking about unless they went through the shit. It's fucked up when you go through it, but you learn from it next time. I need to have bread put up or I could have did this better. I could have did that better. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, you you gotta you gotta don't don't learn from mistake and learn from other people's mistakes, bro. Learn from other people's shit that they fucked up on. Learn from what they doing. You feel me? Learn 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 from what they doing. So when when you learn from what they doing, now you can apply that shit, apply that apply the opposite of what they doing to your life, so that your life can be better. That's the whole purpose. That's the whole purpose of that. That makes everything better. Feel me? That's real talk, man. That's real talk, dog. Let me go to the uh, next caller, man. 702, what it do? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, bro? Yeah, bro. Um, I said a quick question. I'm not talking about, you know, none of that female stuff. I'm just calling about trying to be uh, just... I mean, it sounds, it sounds kind of bad because I'm trying to be more alpha. I know, and I know if you have to ask, you know, you're already kind of fucked up anyway, right? I mean, if you have to ask that question, you're trying to like in a bad spot. Nah, man, what's up, bro? Let's say your question, man. We're here to help, man. What's up? Um, Basically, um, I'm pretty much like I'm solo right now in life. Like I basically grew up in an orphanage. Mm -hmm. So I have no family. So I've been like hustling my ass off. So I work two jobs right now. Um, I don't want to work like you know, all my life, I'm trying to actually figure out shit I can do to make my own money, like you'd be saying, mm -hmm. like in your own business and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so right now I'm just grinding, you know, working seven days a week, just grinding my ass off, um, really into fitness, into learning, you know, I've been listening to books and shit like that, but I just, my struggle is, bro, I feel like it's just not enough. Like, I just feel like I'm missing something and it's killing me because it's like, dude, like, like, you know, I like, yeah, of course, I like, you know, I like females, you know, I like getting laid and all that shit, but what I care more about is just having, like, finances, having, like, a life, having, like, you know, I don't need a freaking, like, I tell people, like, I don't need a Ferrari, I don't need a fucking, you know, Lamborghini, but I just want to, you know, be comfortable. I just want to be chill, and I want to be able to take care of my uh, freaking family, you know, when I got one, and um, that's it, bro. How, how, how old are you, bro? I'm shit together, and I'm 29. You 29? Yeah. Okay. So I've been pretty much going solo my whole life. Cause like I said, like I have no family, no girl, bitch, that shit. Mm hmm Bro. All yeah. you got to do is keep grinding, bro. That's it, dog. That's all you got to do, bro. And like, if if you like working out and and, and like you 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 feel like you can help people in working out areas and stuff like that, man, become a personal trainer, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'll yeah. about doing bro, I'm going to tell you this. All I, I do is watch videos and shit. Yeah, man. Look, bro. I'm going to tell you this, dog. The worst thing you can do forever is trade time for money. That's the worst thing you can do forever. Right? You can do it in the meantime to build yourself up. Bro, we all... Fellas, this one thing we got to understand, dog. We all have to start somewhere. That's why I made that video... That's why I made that video yesterday, the whole Sigma situation, bro. Everybody start out beta, dog. Everybody. Not unless you one of those anomaly guys and your dad was alpha and he instilled it in you at an early age. Everybody starts out at the bottom. Not unless you was in an inherited family and they was rich. That's anomaly shit. That don't happen. Right? And you an orphanage, right? So it's just you. You feel yeah. me? It's just you. Right? So, what you got to do yeah. is, bro, like, I don't want to drive no Ferrari neither, man. I drive an 03, a 03 um, Volkswagen and a Challenger. They're my two cars. I don't give a fuck. Bro, you think I give a fuck what people think about me when they see me in my fucking Volkswagen? I don't give a fuck. Right? You want, you want to grind now so when you get 33, 32, 30, 34, your money going to be good. But, what you need to be doing is working your two jobs, stacking up your paper. And if I was you, whatever your passion is, you need to go into that area of fear, that area of field. If, if personal train, if you like personal training, bro, do that shit. Do the personal training, do. do the personal training and do the other job. Don't do three jobs. That's going to burn you out. I, I don't, I don't want to burn you out. Yeah. Do the one job that pay the most money. Yeah. 
And then... One thing I'm trying to figure out what to do, because, like, the jobs I have now is, like, tell it easy, because the one job I have is they're both security, and I pretty much... Oh, that's easy. Keep, yeah, people. keep both of them, then. Keep both of them. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I work for one rich cat in Vegas, mm -hmm. from, I, I got this job, like, out of nowhere. Uh-huh. Because they just like me, so I'm just... So basically, you know, all I really got to do is just hang out and I'm armed, you know, have all my licenses and shit. I was thinking about pursuing a career like that because I do have, like, my licenses. I have my fucking concealed carry. Mm -hmm. I have all that shit. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to so I'm trying to figure out whatever I can do, like, if I can do self-contracting, if I can branch out. Mm -hmm. just, for, yeah, I'm just trying to do whatever I can, man, because all I want to do, bro, is just, you know, learn and be a better man. Like, be, and, like, you know, and, that's why, like... And, and that, I am 40, time okay. I am like five year old, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. And that comes. That's it. You and, know, and, and fuck these females, I don't care anymore. Yeah, man. And bro, listen, bro. All that comes with is putting in the work now, bro. That's all that comes with that. If you start now, keep putting in your work, keep working your, your security jobs. If you want to pursue any security career and open your security business, you can do that. Or you can do both jobs and do your personal training. Whatever it is that you want to do that's going to bring you peace and prosperity and happiness, do that shit, bro. That's the most important thing. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? If both of your security jobs is sweet, yeah. do that shit. If it's easy, man, do that shit. Stack your paper. You know what I'm saying? Keep your bills low. Yeah. Keep your bills low. Stack your, stack your paper. Keep your bills low. Invest in yourself. If it's something that you want, invest in it. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that you want, invest in it. Keep your security jobs and do personal training. I'm tell if if your passion is personal training, if your passion is working out in personal training, right? If this is your passion, this is something that you'd like to do, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the keys right now. You gotta get shredded. Get shredded and document your shit on Instagram. While you working your security jobs. I'm telling you, bro, do that shit. If this is something you really want to do, bro, do that shit. Because all the all all, the, all we want to do in life is man, is make money, dog. That's it. Earning them earning some money on, on what we like to do in our life. Don't nobody wanna don't nobody wanna be living in poverty for the rest of their life as men. Fuck that shit. We wanna be happy with what we do and make money. We ain't got you don't gotta be a millionaire. You don't gotta be a millionaire, bro. You can make five thousand dollars a month and be happy as fuck. It's all about, you. you know what I'm saying, bro. It's all about doing what you want to do, pursuing the career that you want to pursue in, and do that shit to your best ability. And it starts now, bro. This dog, this, look, bro. I didn't build my YouTube channel overnight, dog. So it took me a lot of fucking work. A lot of fucking work, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just keep working, my G. That's all you got to do, bro. Keep working, man. Don't get depressed. Don't get stressed out, man. Focus on the shit you can control. You know what I'm saying? And, and just keep working. Keep working. Keep grinding. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you, 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 you got to uh, you gotta pull up bar shit at the crib? I got to get one. Yeah, man. Get, I mean, not to kill me. Because I was working out, like, already six, seven days a week. Good. I would even go on my breaks and shit. Oh, that's good, man. You, you bought that life. Hey, man, get a pull up bar. I know we all up in this, um, I know we all up in this quarantine and shit, so we out of gyms and shit, but hey, bro, I'm going to tell you this, dog. The only thing that work is work, bro. The only shit that work is putting in the fucking work. All that other shit is bullshit, bro. Keep grinding, bro. I promise you, dog, you're going to see that shit pay off. If you grind, you're going to see that shit pay off, bro. All right, bro? I appreciate it, man. I just want to get ahead. I just felt like I was getting stuck in a rut, you know? It's just like, man, like, fuck the life. I feel you, man. You gonna you gonna get ahead, bro. You gotta go yeah. through the storm, bro. All right, bro. I appreciate you, man. Anytime, bro. Anytime. All right, in a minute. And that's to everybody out here listening, dog. Like you gotta you gotta go through the storm to get through that shit, dog. Hey, gangster Wayne, give me on Instagram, bro. We could talk about it on there. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the super chat, though. Right? Um, gotta 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 put the work in, fellas. Got gotta put the fucking work in, bro. You know, people seen people seen my uh my, my ten year transformation and um it was like damn Steph, like how you get that big? I was putting in the work. I try to tell y'all, like, especially when we in quarantine right now, if it you think your chest is not gonna get bigger if you don't do two hundred or three hundred push ups every day. 
You think your chest not going to get bigger? You doing that shit every fucking day? It, it has no choice but to, go, to grow. Because consistently putting in the work, dog, dog, nothing beats that shit, bro. Just like my waves, dog, my right side, bro, my right side was not this good. My right side improving by the week because I'm brushing every night. The same angle every night I'm brushing. That's how my waves look deeper. I'm woofing right now, but my waves look deeper. You said, what about legs? Air squats ain't enough. Grab you a book bag. Put a book bag on your back. And do walking lunges up and down the street. Then when you're done with walking lunges, take the book bag off, buy you a weight vest, put the weight vest on, and do sprints with the weight vest on. Do, do five to six sets of sprints. Hard out sprints. I guarantee you, your fucking leg is going to be dead as fuck tomorrow. The next day. Bro, ain't no excuse around the work, G. Ain't no excuse around the work, G. You got to put the work in. And only, and like my homie Grumman Bennett just said, faith without works is dead, bro. Faith without works is dead. It's dead, dog. You can wish all this shit to happen in your life. You can just wish for this shit. Huh? But if you ain't putting it in the work, you're going to stay the same. You're going to stay the same. Right? Pistol squats is good too. Pistol squats is cold too. Telling y'all, man. <laughs> telling y'all, man. Like, man, ain't, ain't no excuse around the work. Ain't no excuse around the work. Garmin Bennett said, you have to mold yourself into the man you want to be. Dog, that's the coldest shit ever, dog. Dog, that's the coldest shit right there. You gotta. Mold yourself into the man who you want to be. Dr. B.O.A., also known as King Ray Ray up in this bitch, man. Shout out to B.O.A., man. He's he super chatted. Put that work in, but not for the results. Do that because it feels so damn alpha. The results are the added bonus. Salute, little bro. Facts. Facts. You're around the house all day, just sitting down, getting fat. You ain't doing shit. You ain't working on your business. You ain't, you ain't working out. You just eating a bunch of bullshit, watching shows all day. It's a time and a place for that. I understand. It's a time and a place for that. But you got to put the fucking work in. You gotta put the work in. You gotta put the work in. That's the most important thing, fellas. You have to put the work in every single fucking day. You gotta put the work in every day, bro. Even when you don't see the results, you still gotta put the work in. Because I'm gonna tell you this you don't get shredded in a week or two. You don't. And I'm going to tell y'all this. There's quarantine that's happening right now. Somebody just said it. This quarantine is a test to see who is willing to put in the work. One of my homies said, man, I ain't doing no at-home workouts. You lazy bitch. I ain't doing no at-home workouts. So you ain't going to do shit? No cardio? No nothing? You just going to sit at home until the gyms open back up? You a lazy motherfucker. You a lazy motherfucker. I don't care how much you weigh. I respect people who put the work in. It's a dude that go to the gym that I work out at. Man, he like at least 400 pounds. So he in that bitch every day. And last year he was like 500 pounds. I respect him and I say what's up to him every time I see him. Every time I see him, man, I see you up in here getting it, man. That's what's up. I respect that. 
I'm telling y'all what y'all can do outside for cardio. If it's cold, if you're in the Midwest, it shouldn't be cold right near nowhere right now. But if, if it's cold outside, double up on your fucking gear. Two hoodies, two hats, and run. Shit. Invest in some cardio because I bought me an elliptical. Gotta like, gotta leave the excuses to the side. Gotta constantly put in the work every single day. Telling y'all, dog, when, when I was heavy in basketball, when I was living in Milwaukee with my mom, right? I was dribbling the ball outside in the cold. I had my two gloves on. The gloves actually made my handles better because the ball was slippery. So it made me keep the ball on the stream. Then when I had the gloves off, I had handles. And if you, you get tired, rest for two minutes. I'm tired. Rest for two minutes. Okay, let's get back to work. That's that's the work. A lot of y'all got to have integrity. What are you doing when nobody's watching? What are you doing when nobody's watching? You going to put the work in when nobody's watching? Right? You gonna put the work in? Or you just gonna, nah, I'm cool. I ain't gonna put no work in. I'm I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. I'm gonna I'm wait until Stefan make a video and then I'm gonna I'm I'm get motivated. You ain't gonna never be motivated. You should be self motivated as a man already by, by the shit you don't have. The shit that you don't have should motivate you and put you in a mood to want to work so you can get the shit that you want to have. That's what, that's the mindset you got to have. I'm tired of living in poverty. Okay, what the fuck am I going to do every day so I cannot live in this poverty mind? So I cannot live in this poverty shit. That's the mindset that you got to have. That's the mindset you got to have. It all comes down to... What you want to do with your life, fellas. You are in control of your life. That's just what it is. That's just what it is, bro. All this corona shit going on. We don't know how long this shit going to go on for. But I'm going to tell you this, dog. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. All the stimulus checks and all that shit. And they selling us a fucking dream with that bullshit. $1,200. I can see if they gave us $2,400. Okay. $2,400? $1,200? That's not even $10 an hour. Shit, full time. That's not even $10 an hour full time. What the fuck? Fuck that shit, man. Two one four. what it do? What? Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hello? What's up, bro? Hello? Hey, bro, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. All right, boss. Hey, I got a situation, bro. Like, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm t I'm 22. I'm over here, you know, like, obviously the world in front of me, basically, and all this shit. I fucked up a couple times in my life, whatever, whatever. Uh, So I've been talking to this girl, right? I've been talking to her for, like, I want to say, like, six months, since, like, September, whatever. And uh, she got a toxic ex in her past. I, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I got an ex in my past, too. They, but her toxic ex, they've been dating for, like, I want to say like shit, like four years or something, bro. We're like the same age, me and her. She's just like a great old above. She was a great above me in high school, and she bad, stupid, stupid bad, bro. Like she always got like people hitting her up. She got to do photo shoots, this and that, and like I just started talking to her, blah blah blah. And we get to the situation, 
and so we've been talking for six months uh and she's just like always putting me off putting me off she talks to me all day on, on facetime she always want to text me she want to do this we've been doing this non-stop for like i want to say like a good three months out of the six months just straight non-stop and we'd be playing like call of duty together bullshit bullshit like i go to work and she after work we just be hanging out like from sick to like whatever she would just facetime me she even facetime me to go to sleep a lot of shit you know and so she basically she so she got she got her ex her ex her ex dude always all up on her always she always keeping tabs on him like what he doing blah 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 and that she said she she had lived with him for a, a minute so i mean we were young like we're 22 and so she she had already lived with him and all this bullshit like man but so, so basically what happened was like last friday she was just trying like well, you know what like i'm gonna hit you i need i'm gonna keep it real with you like i need to know like if you'll if you'll take me in good so i can take you serious and so on friday i'm like all right bro back you know what I, this is my chance is what i wanted you know blah 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 this, this all that bullshit and i'm like fuck i'm gonna go i'm gonna head over i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing, and I, I ain't got no, you know, you know, I'm not scared of her or whatever, but I was nervous, so I went, and I'm chilling with her, you know, just chilling, straight chilling with her, and you know, she had her pants on, everything. I look away for one second, boom, pants off. I'm like, all right, we really in this thing. I check my phone, I just keep it ringing, and like, you know, like nobody gonna be looking for me at fucking 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, what the fuck? I ignored that shit, and. I uh, like, I ignore that shit. Well, she gets a call. It's from my, my ex. And her, my ex, literally, I fucking check my phone. My ex is outside. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, like, fucking start tripping. I'm like, bro, like, I never told her where I was. She don't got my location. None of that shit. So I know that's some beta shit, you know. Like, I just kind of have, like, I, that's what I thought that I had my ex there. Just, just in case some shit went down. And, like, I had to do a fallback option. That's where I fucked up, whatever. You ain't got to, you, 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 you don't, you don't, how old are you, 22? 22, yeah. You ain't got, you, so ain't, you, you ain't got no iron, you ain't got no iron yeah. on you, bro? You ain't got no iron on you? What you mean? You ain't got no, my bad. <laughs> you ain't got no, uh, you ain't got a gun? No, he, oh, no, I ain't no. Oh, oh, you tripping. Oh, you tripping, dog. Like, you tripping, bro. Chilling. You tripping, dog. Am I tripping? I'm tripping. You yeah, man. That? Like, okay, you brought the ex to the house because you thought something was gonna happen. No, 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 no. My ex, like, I just had it. I just had it around because, like, just in case if I couldn't get with this girl, you know what? All right, I fall back. I go back to my ex. Blah blah blah. Shit. Oh, I thought you. Oh, I thought you so brought. Oh, I thought you brought the ex to the house because you thought you was gonna get set up or something. Okay, I was gonna say you gotta be strapped oh, up. Oh hell no, bro. Oh, shit. No, 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 nothing like that. Like, okay. I've been telling my ex, like, you know what? I don't want nothing with you. I want to go pursue something else. I didn't tell her I got this, this whole ass girl on the side. So yo, okay, oh, oh. <laughs> like, okay, go ahead, so, keep going. The whole time, the whole time when I was talking to her, my ex was still kind of in the picture, not really, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. And so I went, and that's when the ex pulled up, and she was like, you know, what the fuck are you doing here? You know, like, that's some cool bullshit. Like, you're trying to pay me, blah, blah, blah. And so the ex and the new girl, they started going at it. They started boxing, and that's when the new girl was like, you know what? I ain't dealing with this shit. Like, I'm out, blah, blah, blah. That's just some bullshit, bro, because, like, in the past, my ex been like, you know, on my case and shit too. So this isn't the first time this happened. And uh, so she pulled up and she was just like, blah, 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 this and that. And I was like, fuck, like I felt like shit, but I was finally getting what I wanted, which was to get with this girl, you know, fuck her, whatever. And then it just ruined like that because of my ex's shit that she was doing. So I went home, blah, 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 this and that. And now the new girl, she come, she's trying to come back and she's like, you know what? Like, this shit sucks, you know, I want I want you around again, blah, 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 this and that. So I'm like, you know what, I right, whatever, you know, I keep it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the house all day, basically, because I can't work or nothing. So I was just talking to her, blah, 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 this and that. And, like, it goes back to the same cycle. But, like, what she, the, the new girl was talking about is that, is that she was like, you know what, like, my ex is trying to get back into my life. She had a whole other, other dude trying to get into her life that she had, like, history with, too. And now it's me too. So I was like, "What the fuck?" There's three dudes, and I'm one of them. So like, I felt like you know, like stupid as hell. So I started checking out your videos, and you were talking about like 
how like girls only like this, like they like the attention. And like you know what really like what really stood out to me is that one time she told me, you know what, if I can combine my ex and you into one person, I'd be the happiest girl ever. And at the time, I thought she meant like our quality. But like after seeing your videos, I felt like she meant like I found out she meant like my attention with his quality type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, that ain't, that, like that. that that's not what she mean, but I know what you mean. Keep going, bro. I like I like the story. Keep going. So basically, where I'm coming through is like, I'll be telling my friends about this girl, and they'll be like, every 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 person has their opinion. Every person wants to tell me, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should, you know. And nobody has the same opinion. Like, one friend will tell me, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Fuck that bitch. Not worth it. Another dude will tell me, you know what? Like, keep pursuing her. Like, keep telling her, like, this and that. And tell her, like, apologize for the shit that went down and shit. And then another friend will be like, you know what, bro? You brought this upon yourself. Like, you fucking, you're the one that had the ex laying around, like, as a second option. And, like, shit. I don't even know what the fuck to do, bro. Cause like I really like this girl. I got, bro. I be simping. I was simping. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was simping, bro. I gave her a Christmas present. Didn't get shit back. Gave her a Valentine's present. Didn't get shit back. A bunch of shit. Like, well, hell no. I feel beta as fuck. You, you know. You done? You done, bro? No, <laughs> hit me with the facts, bro. Just, just no, nah, man. So, facts, so, so, like, what's your, what, what, what's your overall question? My question to you is like, what the fuck is up with this? Like, does she, does she actually enjoy me? Cause like, bro, like she wouldn't really tell me to go over to, to fuck if she don't really like fuck with me like that. You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm just kind of like in a stalemate. You, like, you, I don't know you, 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 you. How, how, how long? How, how new are you to the red pill? I'm barely like finding out about the I, red pill. I, I know. Like, I know I mean, that. I've heard about it before I, on Twitter. I, I know that. Reddit, I, I, can it, tell. Bullshit, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. I can yeah. tell. Like, um, hell yeah. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, I barely found it out. Yeah, so I'm going to answer your question, shit. dog. I'm going to answer your question, my nigga. You decide, nigga, dog. Hey, t- hey turn off that. Turn, 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 right? hey, turn off the live in the back, bro, please. Oh, right, bye-bye. You good. Go ahead, go ahead. You decide, nigga, bro. You know mm-hmm. how I know? Remember, I, oh, yeah. w- w- you know how, I, okay, I understand women... From a subcommunication point, when a woman says right. he is steady trying, just those three words, he is steady trying to come back. That means he's already in the picture. Yeah. Remember what I told you. Mm. Remember what I told you. Yeah. Women have yeah. to. Women have to tell them to. to women have to make it feel right for them to want to cheat on a man. So they got to make it mm-hmm. seem like he my ex and my ex. Nah, bitch, he ain't your ex. That's still your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Y'all been li- Let me tell you something, dog. Right. When, when a chick been living with a dude for four years, bro, it's hard as fuck to get over that wow. nigga, G. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you this, bro. The nigga who she been living with got his shit together. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say he mm-hmm. alpha, but he is right. financially established to the point where she can't let him go. That's why, now, now correct me if I'm wrong, didn't she ask you, are you good at sex? No, I feel like I am, bro. Like, every girl that I, with, I get with, they always try to come back and they always... No, I'm, no, I'm, 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 no, 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 I'm at, no, no, no. I'm asking you, did she ask you, uh, I need to know, are you good at sex? Or do I need to know, are you, did she yeah, ask you? Bro. Do you know why she asked you that? Do you know why she asked you that? Because she needs to make why? sure that her cheating is green. It has the cheating has to be satisfactory. So that she can go back to her ex, who was her fucking boyfriend, so that she can go back to her boyfriend and make it seem like everything is good. Because she can't leave him. Like, remember I told y'all, I, I made a video about this, my nigga. She can't leave the beta because the beta is providing a lifestyle that the guy that she finds sexy, like you, the guy that's laying their pipe, like you, he, you, not saying that you can't provide it, but it's not your position to want to provide that because she places no value in your life other than what's between her legs. But the, but the beta cuck, but the, 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 the provider she likes that. That's her beta side of hypergamy. That's why she said, 
Oh, I need I, if if I could find a man like you and him together, I would love that. All women want that. All women yeah. want the guy who can provide and and guide her and give her that security and the guy to break her fucking back. That alpha. Right. So that's so yeah, that so alpha. so. She has to. She can't tell on herself. She got to make her cheating feel justified. Ju she has to justify her cheating by saying that's still my ex. That's still my ex. Mm. She got to do that, dog. Mm. She can't because she can't rationalize and say I'm cheating. I'm finna bounce on another dick and hopefully it's bigger and better. That's why she asked you. For sure. That's why she she needed clarification. Yeah. Is you are you good at sex? Y'all gotta understand, so fellas. Y'all really gotta understand one thing about females, fam. Don't listen to the propaganda that when women tell us, uh, women cheat because of emotional reasons. That's not why women cheat, bro. Women cheat because yeah. they need something better in them guts. Not necessarily saying yeah. that she gonna leave the provider. She would never leave the provider unless she monkey brushed through another one. Unless she used them venom webs to yeah. another one. But She's going to abuse venom webs to another dick if it's better. Believe me when I say that. That's why she okay. women need reassurance. That's why she kept asking, "Are you good at sex?" That's why she kept asking you that shit because she needed that reassurance to 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 know that mm -hmm. if she's cheating, she hopes it's in it's in her best interest. She hopes that it's good for her to mm -hmm. do it, right? And then okay. that's why, yeah, bro. That's that you you side nigga, my bro. You the side nigga, bro. You side nigga. That's all. Yeah. When I when I when you say side nigga, like, cause she's single right now, like for sure. Like, I mean, technically, you know, I get where you're coming from, like by the side nigga, whatever. But like, it's she, just like she's not single, oh, yeah, nigga. She's she taking, taking a break. break. She not single. She's taking a break. She's taking a break. By that. She's taking a break. Yeah, I get what you're coming from, but they've been working up for like a for like a year or whatever. So, yeah, they've been taking a break for a year. That happens right. in relationships, bro. Yeah. I know, I know so, about bitches, so bro. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I fuck with you. I, I know what you're coming from, but it's just like, like for me, as like me, me and new to all this, it's just like I don't see where the fuck this is coming from. Because you know what, I never had a struggle with a, with a woman. Like if I want her, I get, I, I go try to get her. Boom, get it, and then we do our thing, and then I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving. But like this is the first time where I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like I feel like I'm. Getting paid, paid like that. That's because you. That's because you got your emotions involved. My, that's because you got your emotions involved, my nigga. That's why you feel like you're getting played. Yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? I, you, I know I'm right. Oh, Steph is cold, G. Steph is cold. I know I'm right. I know I'm right, bro. Steph is cold, G. Bro, that's on God. Yeah, Steph is cold on God. I I know I'm right. So 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 so, so you falling in love? You getting emotional with the bitch? Now, now, guess what? Here come the anxiety, right? Here come the anxiety. Right. You don't know what the fuck to do. The, yeah, here comes the where she at. Why ain't she taking all that dumb shit? Mommy, all that shit. dumb shit. Yeah, where, yeah, where, where all you gotta do is dig in her guts until she fucking busts and toss her back to her beta male provider. But mm -hmm. you're letting her beauty. I can't, be, yeah. But you're letting her beauty and how sexy she is to manipulate your emotions, bro, when she's just a bitch. Yeah, I'm putting too much I'm putting too much effort and emphasis to a bitch that just is going to talk me to the side as soon as that other dude gets his shit together, huh? No, nah, she ain't going to talk you to the side. Mm-mm. She's going to have me there? She's going to have me there the whole time or what? Yeah! She go, you, nigga, she going to fuck you. She ain't gonna toss you to the side. She ain't gonna say, all right, we're gonna fuck one time and then I'm done. No, that why you think she asked you, are you good at sex? She needs that fucking reassurance. She not gonna toss you to the side, bro. She wants you to fuck. And if you fuck her good, better than her. If you fuck her just a little bit better than her beta male provider, dog, you got her. You got her. You got her. So, so right now, I'm in a position... I feel like I'm in a position where I got the upper hand right now. But like, I feel like if I do anything, boom, shit slips, that's your bang. That's where I feel, bro. Like, that's where I'm coming from. Like, it, and that's it, where I'm, that's where my beta mentality comes in. And I'm like, bro, if I fuck up, I lost it. Like, that shit's done. Like, straight up. 
Who cares if he lost it? Did, she bad, right? She, 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 she bad, right? She she bad, right? She bad, right? You opening in my. She bad, right? Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Slow down, slow down, slow down, Song G. Slow down, Song G. She bad, right? Hell yeah. You can get another one. You understand that? You understand that, bro? You can get another one. You can get another. You fuck the bitch with a fat ass, you could fuck another bitch with a fat ass. You could fuck another one. You hit a three in the game, you can hit another one in the next game. Keep abundance. You can get another one. You can get another one. You got fired from a job, you can get another one. You always have to think about, I can get another one. Because you're always going to get another one. Because the turn is always on respawn. The turn is always on respawn. Right? You always gonna respawn, G. Cause that's your turn. It's unlimited. Not with her, but with bitches, because it's always another one. Does that make sense? So you can't even care about losing her. You can't even care about losing her. But if you wanna fuck if if if, if you wanna fuck her. Hold on. If you wanna fuck her. Invite her over to the crib. Invite her over to the crib. So, yeah, because my question to you is like, all right, I already know the position I'm in. How the fuck do I fall back, bro? Like, how I can't block her because then she's gonna think I'm a bitch. Like, she's gonna be like, oh, this, this motherfucker couldn't handle it. He just lied me. A bitch tendency. What you want to? So like, now what I do to fuck her? What you want to do? What you want to do, bro? What you, hey, what you want to do with her? I want to fuck this bitch, bro. I want to fuck okay, this Okay, bitch. okay, okay, okay. Listen, 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 listen. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Text her and tell her, come over. I'm free. Let's have some drinks at the crib. Mm-hmm. Nigga, she made it easy and for you. It. Don, didn't you tell me she poor? Right. She got a fat ass? Didn't, bro, she got everything didn't, you, didn't you tell me? Hold up, bro. Hold up. Slow down, G. Didn't you tell me you said you turned your head and she pulled down her fat ass? She making it easy for you. Invite her over. Invite her over to the crib. Invite her over to the crib. And get with her, bro. That's it. All right, bro. You overthinking it, G. You think so? It's just cause, like there's so much shit, bro. Like I get where you're coming from, and it's just like fuck, bro. Like I don't even know what the fuck to do. Like I had this situation, like I'm fucking Jenny Turner, and I'm over here trying to chase the whatever that pink bitch is at, and I'm over here doing situations in my head, like damn, I'm gonna get with this bitch, I'm gonna get with that bitch, I'm gonna you know provide for her and all this bullshit. Cause she tell me all this top stories, like oh my ex cheated on me with this ugly hoe. Oh my ex cheated on my dad, ugly hoe, and I'm. That's here, all like, confirmation. That is all that, that dude. That's all confirmation that she wants you to fuck. My ex cheating on me. I gotta the boyfriend that I'm with right now. I gotta blame him from everything because if I fuck you and your in your dick good, I wanna I wanna blame the justification of him cheating on me. She probably ain't even. He probably ain't even cheat on him. He probably ain't even cheat on her. She just gotta say that shit to make her cheating just justification. She gotta make it justifiable. That's how women cheat, bro. My my boyfriend ain't shit. Oh, he ain't shit. Her pussy getting wet right there. All right, bro. Slow down, son. G. I'll holler at you in a minute. All right, for sure, bro. In a minute. I appreciate you. Yeah, in a minute. Hey, wait. One question. Uh, What's that video you said that you had talked about this situation? If I can peep it. Uh. Um, how to get your ex to submit? How to get your ex to submit? All yeah. right, bro. All right, bro. Check that video out. Well, yeah. Like you all do right. all that shit. I appreciate you. You know, like you think that people might think I'm trolling or nothing, but this is some real shit. Like I've been. Going oh, I know, man. You, 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 you. Especially if you new. Yeah, you, yeah. Especially if you new to this shit. But all right, bro. All right, bro. In a minute. All right, for sure. I appreciate you, Steph. All right, is somebody on the line right now or nah? Oh, shit. 
shit. Let's go to these super chats, man. I know Dr. BOA said something earlier, man. I got to go see what the homie said, man. Now, I can't even scroll all the way up. BOA, I appreciate the super chat if you're still in here, bro. Uh, Mike Larry said, Islam, appreciate that. Gordo Eats said, take that soul and focus on your purpose. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. Um, 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 I appreciate the calls and everything, fellas. We're breaching the two-hour mark, man. I got to call this one quits. Um, fellas, don't forget to like my video. All right, we're going to do one more call. Fuck it. Everybody say one more call. Let's do one more call. All right. One more call. 773, what it do? Yo, Seth, you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yo, what up, Seth? Hey, so real quick, my question is about an ex, right? Yeah. So she got a baby daddy, right? And I know about the imprint, thanks to you and Ron Wills. Shout out to Ron Wills real quick. Shout out to Ron Wills! But, uh, Ron Wills, yeah, that's what's up. So she said that, uh, her... Her relationship with her baby daddy was the only real relationship that she had. But she said she can't feel anything for him. So my question is, like, what does she mean by that? Because women are dead backwards, you know what I'm saying? So what the hell does that even mean? It just means I want you to fuck me right now. Let's not talk about him anymore. Real talk, because that was the vibe I was getting, because she be throwing looks in my way and shit like that, and touching me and all that shit, so I was just trying to figure that out. Yeah, man, all that means is, you know, I ain't feeling him no more. When she says I'm not feeling him no more, that means I'm not feeling him in the moment that me and you are talking. But I, I, I'm going to need you to fuck Bad. me because I'm feeling you right now. That's all that means, G. Bad. so I got to go and smash, all right. Bad. Oh, she wants you to smash, huh? I'm going to tell you this, dog. <laughs> women don't talk down on women don't talk down on men who they really love and respect. Okay. Women don't talk down on men who they love and respect. They just don't. They don't. Women don't do that, bro. Women will never talk down on a man that she like is in love with and who she respects. She just won't. So whenever you hear a woman talking yeah, down, they won't be the guy that they admire, right? Exactly. So whenever you hear a woman talk down, talk down on the man in front of you, yo antenna should come up all this bitch trying to get me to fuck with her. That's all that is, bro. <laughs> That's all that is, bro. All right, man. So, so appreciate the content, bro. Keep it up, my G. For sure, my G. In a minute. All right, fellas. Um, let me ask you this super chat. I know somebody just sent me a super chat. Let's see what he say. Where he at, man? Just seen that motherfucker. Ah, oh, shit. Do you have one on one culture? Yeah, man. Stuff is called dot com. Um, I'm working on getting shredded right now. I just started my channel and I've been posting on my Instagram and Snapchat daily. Any tips? Thomas, just keep posting, bro. That's all you can do, bro. Just keep keep posting, man. Keep posting, man, and, and, and document your journey. But fellas, I appreciate you guys coming in. Love you guys. Um, appreciate uh Afi Kingdom for moderating. I appreciate uh Grown Man Business for moderating as well. Um, little kids kiddo. Uh, I said, what's good with my counselor? Email me, bro. We can, we can get the consultation in, bro. Um, all right, fellas. Much love to you guys. Y'all take it easy, man.